While we may be linked by destiny, the threads mentioned by the Chinese proverb can certainly be disentangled by seeking out places where we'll encounter people with similar dreams and ambitions. Filmmaker Valencia Joshua was mentored by some tough taskmasters at film school, and she's now a rising star with local and international exposure. Let's get a career update. Whether it's made for the cinema or television, a movie tells a narrative primarily in images, enabling us to see the world from perspectives that are completely fresh. The creative process is a team effort under the leadership of the director, and this is just one of the many filmmaking roles mastered by Valencia Joshua. She's also a writer of prose and screenplays whose work was already earning awards while she's at film school. And having traveled the world, she's pursuing her dreams in Durban. We all love a good story and filmmakers have the opportunity to take a story and to convert it into something that captivates the audience. And that's exactly what award-winning Valencia Joshua gets to do. And today, we get to experience her story. Valencia is a self-confessed health and fitness fanatic. So if she's not out on location shooting a sunrise scene, you'll find her having a working breakfast of film clips and fruit, as I discovered when I arrived. Valencia! Hey, how are you? How are you? Oh, been waiting for you. Why did you decide to get into film? Film and movies are a great way to escape the world you're in, to live a thousand different lives, to meet new people, new characters, escaping the normal world, entering perhaps pre-created world or a CGI world and storytelling is just a great way to get out the messages that are within you. What was it like growing up? It was a wonderful childhood. My parents are amazing inspirations to me. They are big on humanity and caring for people, charity, pushing our boundaries as kids. I heard an interesting story that your brother was your inspiration. He was an internal inspiration in that. I'd run into his studio and watch him painting or drawing or creating some animation and it massively inspired me as a little girl. And that's where I picked up my knack for creativity and just went along from there. So what does it take to be a really good filmmaker? I think a great filmmaker would be someone who listens, who's teachable and observes really well and applies to the best of their ability, never stops, always helps people around them and is teachable because a teachable person is someone that can pick up and can give back the most of themselves. It shows in one of the movies that you created, Himmet. What is it about? Himmet for me is a voice our actress explores the true meaning of love and destiny in life and the journey of it. The most important thing in a film is to challenge an audience. Even a line of dialogue can challenge them to think outside the box. Stop. Just stay. Stay and do what? Fight. That's what we do. We fight, we yell, we scream. So? So stay. And love of what? Love. The film went on to do really well in South Africa. It was incredibly received by audiences and it travelled some great festivals. It won an award at a Durban International Festival. It did some international festivals as well. Himmet did quite well. How did I let things get this far? Himmet formed part of an anthology of eight short films dedicated to the late Nelson Mandela and its message of women's empowerment resonated with critics and audiences alike. You recently released a film at the Toronto International Film Competition. My film was about a story that's quite universal. It's the story of a war, a person from the Muslim community and possibly a US community. And they try to get a relationship going. The film was called Platform because it was about taking the next level to your relationship. Are you gonna choose political debates or are you gonna choose something that's universal like love. The theme of life as a journey is one that Valencia is drawn to and it's woven into her work. On a personal level, she's visited Bahrain, Thailand and the USA in her quest for new horizons and creative renewal. You've also traveled extensively. Tell me a bit more. Traveling is a great way to just expand your mind, see what's out there because if you live in a law one page of a book, you never really see what the entirety of the book is. But you keep on coming back to Durban, why? My heart is with my family and the people I love. I love my homeland, I love the smell of the sea. I really love animals, so I would like to take you over to Ushaka, which is a walk away, and we can perhaps meet some aquatic creatures. I think I need to change first. While visiting the Kingdom of Bahrain in the Persian Gulf, Valencia went swimming with a dolphin named Boris at a local resort, and the experience left her fascinated by these amazing aquatic mammals. 
While her busy schedule doesn't really leave time for frequent visits to Bahrain, the marine world in Durban enables her to keep in touch with the species. That was absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for spending the day with me and thank you for this experience. It is something I will never forget. Thanks for spending the day with me, Kriya. I had so much fun. <laughs> this is something that I'm definitely going to add to my story.